Who wants to wake up in the morning and not love what they do? Hey everybody, welcome to the vlog. Brian Bartrek here, and I hope the start of your day is absolutely amazing. Today is going to be an awesome day because I am going to share five tips of success for whatever you might be doing, whether it's reptile breeding, snake breeding, or whatever. If you follow these five steps, you are going to own the earth. Okay, well, maybe not that far, but it is going to help you on your journey. So what do you say that we spend the next 10, 12, 15 minutes and put all our problems aside? Go ahead and comment down below and let me know how your day is because I love reading about you guys. And while you're down there, smash that like button for me. What do you say we get things started with the intro right now? And the number one tip is passion. People say... You, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing. And it's totally true. And the reason is, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. Find what you're passionate about because that's gonna really give you the energy to execute properly. As for me, my whole life I was passionate about reptiles. I knew I wanted to work with them. I just didn't know exactly in which way. So I just followed my dreams and my passion and it kind of pushed me to the level where I wanted to get up every morning and achieve the most I could possibly achieve. My point is, is that who wants to wake up in the morning and not love what they do? I mean, if you wake up and you're like, oh, I gotta go to work, or I've gotta do this, or I've gotta do whatever, and you're not excited about that, how possibly can you be successful? I mean, let's face it, I wake up every morning and I cannot wait to come in here and mess with these amazing animals. Come on, little buddy, this guy is a little bit angry for sure. But the point is, is that I've been passionate about this journey of working with animals and reptiles and educating people and trying to get people over their fear of things so every morning when I wake up I cannot wait to get in here and do my thing whether it's at my shop whether it's around the world just <laughs> experiencing these animals I mean it is incredible the point is is if you're not extremely passionate about something there's no way that you can achieve the level of success that you need to achieve so before you can even start thinking about success you have to really target what you're gonna be passionate about again if you're not passionate about it, there's no way you're gonna put that hundred and ten percent into what you're doing there's no way you're going to be able to wake up in the morning and say, hey, I have an 18-hour day, but I don't mind it because I love what I do. Again, that old saying is, find what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. I've been doing reptiles for 28 years as a profession, and there has hardly ever been a day that I haven't woke up and been super excited to see what I can achieve. That doesn't mean that there's not ups and downs. Of course there are. There have been so many triumphs I've had, and there's been so many failures. As a matter of fact, there's probably been more failures than there have been success. It doesn't matter because I wake up in the morning and I love the journey. And that's something that you have to consider. It's not about the destination. It's not about achieving everything. It's about the process of achieving the things you want to do. If you don't enjoy that process, then it's not worth it. So once again, before you even get started about thinking what you want to achieve and be successful, you have to find what you are passionate about. Moving on to step number two, and that is get smart. So what do I mean by get smart? Even hotter. Much much harder. Not that get smart. What I mean is take out your tablets, take out your cell phones, get on your computer and do some research, people. I tell you what, if you learn, you are going to not make as many mistakes. The other thing I would definitely do is try to see if you can get a mentor, someone that has already done whatever it is. If you're working with reptiles, try to find someone that has worked with reptiles and been successful. If you are going to do whatever you're going to do, whether it's business, school, whatever it is, you need to have someone to teach you and help you along that you can ask questions to so that you don't make the same mistakes that they do. I guess what I'm saying, people, is don't be lazy. I mean, when someone comes to me and says, Brian, I want to be a success and I want to be a snake breeder and I want to work with reptiles, but then I ask them a few questions and it's obvious that they haven't done any research, they haven't read, they haven't put any time into trying to be successful. How can I take them seriously? I need you to do the work and I did the work and I'm still learning. After 28 years of doing this business, I'm still learning every single day. I read a ton about things. I, when I have a problem, I try to problem solve and then when I can't problem solve, I try to reach out to someone that I think might be able to help me in the journey to try to find my answers. But that doesn't mean that you just take someone's advice blindly and just kind of go with what they have to say. Which brings me to my next point. Don't be a follower. 
And what I mean by don't be a follower is if you're trying to be the next Brian Barczyk, you're trying to be the next whoever, you probably are already failing in a sense. That doesn't mean that you can't look up to someone and say, hey, I want to eventually get to their position, but be an innovator. Try to do your own thing. You can take what I do best or what whoever does best, and you can take and try to emulate that to whatever you can, but don't try to be them. Try to be yourself. What worked for me doesn't necessarily always work for you. In no way am I trying to say somehow I have the level of success that other people are trying to emulate because the truth is is that I feel like I'm just getting started. My aspirations are super, woo, super huge. And by the way, isn't she absolutely beautiful? This is Perdita the Cowrie Tech. My point is is that I may look to people and emulate them in one sense and say, I want to be like this guy or I want to be like this side. You want to try to have people that you look up to, but that doesn't mean that you want to be just like them. Take, for instance, when I started vlogging, I really looked up to Casey Neistat. In a way, I tried to emulate Casey Neistat, but the truth was, as I evolved as a vlogger, I realized that I can't be Casey Neistat. I've got to be me. I can take what Casey did and kind of mold it into my own world. And over the last year, I don't feel like my vlogs are anything like Casey anymore. I basically looked up to someone. I tried to look at them and say, hey, I want to be kind of in that like, but then I wanted to take my own spin on it and find my own way. The truth is why I probably have been successful on a bunch of different levels and platforms is that I was always an innovator. I always tried to think ahead of everyone else. Sure, I took my lead from other people in a way, but then I tried to take it to a new level. I was one of the first reptile guys on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course YouTube. If I would have waited till someone else did it, maybe I wouldn't have achieved the level of success that I kind of have now. My point is, is that you can certainly take what someone did, but then take it to the next level. Be an innovator. That way you can do what they did and then you can take it to the next level and that's how you're going to get noticed. Now, I think this is one of the most important things out of this five things that I'm talking about, and that is have fun. This is not fun. This is not fun. This is not fun. Whatever you want to do, whether it's working with reptiles, whether it's being a YouTuber, whether it's whatever you might want to do for a living, make sure that you're having a good time. Because listen, people, life is way too short not to have a good time of it. When you take yourself too seriously, that's when you're going to get into trouble. And the fact is, is that all those long hours that you're willing to put in to try to achieve whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, if you're not having a good time, then what's the use of it? Listen, I'm not one of those guys that wants to work five days a week for the weekend. So I'm miserable Monday through Friday just so I can have have a good time on Saturday and Sunday. I don't work for the weekends. As a matter of fact, I don't even have weekends. I work seven days a week. As you guys know, vlog, 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 vlog. The point is, is that I have a good time with everything and I don't take myself so seriously. You know what? If I thought to myself, I've got to be professional and I can't do something goofy and I can't act myself because people might not like me, then what is that all about? The truth is, have a good time with whatever you do and the journey is going to be that much better. And on that same level, the fun level, don't let people steal your fun. You know what? As you become more successful at whatever you do, whether the success has happened to be YouTube or it happens to be reptiles or it happens to be whatever business or adventure you want to do, as you get more successful, people are going to want to drag you down. That's just the way it is. I don't know why people do it. I don't care why people do it. You know what? You are going to eventually meet opposition. They're going to see that you're loving life. You're happy. You're doing things. You're achieving things that they wish they could achieve. And the only way that they can combat it is to try to drag you down. Don't let them drag you down. Make sure you just have fun. Push the negative out and only really focus on the positives. And before we move on, don't think that I didn't forget that today is Halloween. Well, actually, it's the day before Halloween for me now, but when you're watching It's Halloween, we shot a little funny thing over here. I'm going to show you a little clip, but the entire amount is over on my son's channel. I'm going to put a link in the description. You guys will absolutely want to see this. Take a look at this and then watch the entire thing on my son's channel. I'm excited to tell you that someone has come back for a visit. With no further ado, I'm going to turn you over to Count Chukula. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Count Chukula, and it's a trick or treat time at DHB. I got my son, Sperm Boy, over here, Ooh. and we're going to have a spooky old time. Spooky. Oh, creepy. <laughs> Not spooky, creepy. Trick or treat time. Track our trade time. Of course. Wow. Oh, this is yeah. where you use the spirit of Halloween. -y. This is going to be the last on to my. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! oh, my teeth suck. My teeth are falling out. I'm having a stroke down. I need a. Oh, fuck. Do I really? Oh, look at this. I'm a wreck. This, oh, oh, Halloween! Oh, you got it. Okay. Here, take the treat. Come over here. 
Quit to using the clock. Woohoo! Two and one, baby! Oh! You lost one. Let me put it back. Get that away from me, yo! Oops! I'm all out! <laughs> and number five, and lastly, is work hard, people. Work harder than you could ever imagine. You have to outwork your competition because the truth is, no matter how hard you work at the things you are, there's gonna be someone that's gonna wanna work harder than you. So the whole point is, you have to outwork them. If you're the hardest working person at whatever you're doing, you're gonna be the most successful. And the only way that you can really work hard and then follow all those other things, have fun and enjoy life and all those things, is if you're doing something that you're passionate about. If you're passionate about it, you can work hard because that's what you're going to love to do. You're going to wake up seven days a week and you're going to want to do it. And even if you have a day off, you're going to say, I don't want a day off because I want to go do what I want to do to achieve the goals that I want to achieve. These are the ways that I follow through my life. These are the topics that I think about every single day. I always want to stay uber passionate. I want to have a good time. I want to be smart. I want to be innovative. I want to do all those things on a daily basis. And no matter what level of success that I reach, I'm going to continue to work harder so I can climb that next mountain because that's who I am. That's what I love to do and I love to inspire you to do the exact same thing. All right guys, so listen, I know that this vlog was a little bit different than my normal vlog, but these things are very important to me and I want to share them and I've been thinking about doing this vlog for the last probably month, but I just haven't had time because I've been so busy and today I thought, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and lay this out. Let me know in the comments if this helped you, number one, and number two, if you want me to do this every now and then, not often, maybe every couple weeks weeks or every few weeks I can do one of these types of vlogs that is kind of more of a tips or tutorial type of vlog. As a matter of fact if you like that idea go ahead in the comments and let me know what you think that you would like me to talk about because I love teaching you guys I love inspiring you guys and I love just spending time with you guys and I love all the interactions that we do whether it's the comments whether the message my Twitter my Instagram whatever it might be you guys inspire me so much and I just cannot thank you enough for all of that so I hope that you don't mind this vlog we will go to our regular scheduled typical vlog as of tomorrow but I do travel later this week out to California, so we're going to have a really good time with that. More news on that pretty soon. Regardless, I hope that you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for all the support you give me, watching, and all the things you do. I love you guys so much, and you mean the world to me. Can you do me a couple favors today? Can you go ahead and smash that like button for me? Let's get this video over 5,000 likes. Make sure to turn your post notifications on so you know when I upload a video, which is every day at 9 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to somebody, and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.